recent interview with Fight Hub, Blair the Flair Cobbs said some rather interesting things. You know, he said, he kind of like low-key called out Virgil Ortiz, Bud, and even Errol Spence. <clears throat> he says pretty much that these, you know, nobody's taking the risk. You know, everybody wants to keep they O and are afraid to lose it. Everybody's afraid to lose. And I agree with him to a certain extent, man. Because <clears throat> I'm like, why the hell is Virgil Ortiz fighting McKinson? Right? Like, where'd they get him from? Shouldn't he have been fighting David Avenesian? What happened to that? Is, is he next after him? And to that point, Blake Cobbs made a lot of sense, man. One other thing interesting about Blake Cobbs, man. What I realized in this in this interview is they asked him at the end, are you going to give us a woo? He was like, well, right now I'm not going to woo until this fight is over. <laughs> so, goddamn, Lexus Roca punched the woo out of this man, man. <laughs> but looks like he's more focused. He still talks his trash because that's his brand. He has to do that. He has to be the, 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 the trash talker. But he kind of toned down a little bit. He kind of humbled a little bit more. Because he realized his flaws and he not, he's not messing with Freddie Roach anymore. So he has a new trainer and everything. So he's saying he's more focused on defense, you know, keeping his hands up, tucking his chin a little bit better. So he understands what he did wrong in that Alexis Roca fight. <clears throat> but he's 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 a rather interesting character, Blair Collins, man. And like, I like how he talks in the third person. <laughs> he always talks in the third person, but... He seems like he ain't afraid of nobody, man. Rather, you know, you like him or not, rather he got humbled because his last fight he got humbled, I understand, but he jumping in with Maurice Hooker. And I'm gonna say this, Maurice Hooker, I got Blake Cobbs winning this fight by decision, but it's a possibility any of these dudes, they can get hurt. Both of them. But Maurice Hooker, man, he's looking to make a statement, bro. He's looking to make a statement. He's probably going to go in there and try to knock Blair Cobb's head off, man, because he he want to make he want to redeem himself from that loss against Virgil Ortiz. So look for that, man. That's, that's a possibility. You might see Mo Hooker going there on some other stuff and try to get Blair out of there early. But Blair says that they worked on a lot of things. <clears throat> Let's see. He, he said he was he working more on like kind of like defensive things you know when Cobb and then the interviewer asked him about power is he concerned with Maurice Hooker's power he's like he's not really concerned with his power I mean it is what it is you know uh Maurice Hooker and Blair Cobbs I mean Maurice Hooker has more experience so he has a higher knockout, a slightly higher knockout I think he has a, a higher knockout ratio than Blair Cobbs I, I might be wrong I think on my prediction, actually, Blair Cobbs has a slightly higher knockout ratio, just by a little. So both of them are looking fifty eight percent, fifty six. <clears throat> Blair Cobbs has less fights, less experience. So as he get more fights, that his KO percentage will probably go down a little bit if he doesn't get more knockouts. You know what I mean? So uh, Mo Hooker has more fights. He has eighteen knockouts. And he's been facing better competition. He has a better resume and stuff like that. So, you know, give or take, who has the more power? I I lean slightly towards, um, you know, if you're looking at it from the eye, you might say Maurice Hooker. If you're looking at it from box rec stats, you, you got to swing towards Blair Cobb. So it's like a pick em, you know, but it should be a rather interesting fight to see how that, very interesting fight. Can't wait to see how that unfolds. The styles, styles make fights. We shall see who becomes the victor in this fight. It's clear, though, that Blair is still very vocal on Terrence Crawford. He's still very vocal on Virgil Ortiz and Errol Spence. You know, so, and he's the only one that really, you know, rather you believe the hype or not, Blair Cobbs was the only one that really stepped to boots. Like, he's the only one that was really, like, Step to him. Rather, you thought it was fake. 
he the only one that pressed boots on some on some other shit. That'll be a decent. I mean, most of us think boots will, will knock him out, knock him out. But that'll be a good fight for Philly though, because Blair is very interesting. He moves around a lot, and before this fight with Roca, he was already a mover puncher. He can punch too. So it'll be interesting to see what he added to his game, you know. So we'll see how he does in the ring against Mo Hooker. That'll give you an idea how he would do against a Errol Spence, a Jerron Ennis, a Terrence Crawford, a Virgil Ortiz. Um, because I think right now, you know, all those dudes beat Blair Cobbs, you know what I'm saying? But you never know, man. You never know. We had a lucky shot on one of them, and it could be lights out, man. You always got to keep that. Well, you got to keep that in boxing, man. You can't never not like, count everybody out completely. You got to always leave that small room for error, you know? But anyway, let me know what y'all think about Blair Cobbs and his Fight Hub interview and how, how he kind of understood that he had some work to do on himself. And he seems a little bit more humble now. He's still the trash talk a little bit. He's still kind of confident you got to stay confident but he's still he kind of like toned down a little something something so this is rebel life boxing man let me know what you think drop a comment like and subscribe i'll catch y'all later on the next one and i'm off this man peace